Greetings, everyone. Tonight, I have a little bit of a project here that I'm going to take you along uh, with me on. Um, on my Vader's Vault Hero, I noted uh, for you on one of my previous videos that there was a little bit of tarnishing on the copper. The Vader's Vault Hero uses natural, uh, or they use actual copper. Uh, different brands might use uh, something that looks like copper, like it's it's anodized, I think that's the word, to look like it or something, or maybe it's brass or something similar to it. But Vader's Vault uses copper, and um, and so it naturally will tarnish over time as copper does. Um, somebody had, grant, had given me the suggestion of trying to use some uh, lemon juice with some salt to help clean that up. It looked great when I first tried it, um, but then over time, I'll, uh, I'll show you what it kind of looked like. It's probably because I did something wrong. I'm not blaming him at all. I probably just did something wrong here. You can see how it, well, maybe you can see a little bit there. It's, yeah, it started to change a couple different colors. I think probably what happened was I just didn't wipe it out. Actually, you can see a little bit of the salt that was left in there. I'm going to have to scrape that off there. Um, it was, a, I didn't really rinse it off. <laughs> That's probably my fault. That's, yeah. I did not inherit any handy jeans from my father, so I am certainly not blaming the guy who made the suggestion for it. But uh, what I did was I contacted Vader's Vault and asked for their advice. Actually, I said, um, uh, how much would you charge if I were to send it back to you and you were to uh, clean up the copper for me? Um, and stuff and they said you know what just go to the supermarket and find some Tarnix uh, Tarnish remover for use for hey check it out copper. They said uh, people use it for like uh, kitchen uh, Pots that are made of copper. So that's good. So what we'll do is we're gonna go through this together Okay, so if I make a mistake, it will be documented and you guys can tell me what I did wrong. Okay wipe rinse and done We'll see how simple it is. So, looking through your directions here. Do not use on stainless steel. Well, okay, it's not stainless steel, that's good. Uh, but it does say do not use on aluminum, so that means I am gonna have to be careful with this then. Um, my plan is I'm only gonna try just this little part of it here, just a little bit here, just to see how it works first before I start going over the whole thing. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. And I am a little bit apprehensive about this, but I trust Vader's Vault to give good um, good instructions here. Okay, so household gloves. I've got some gloves. Uh, clean object first by washing in warm soapy water and drying thoroughly. Now, I, I have some warm soapy water. Okay. And this is some, that that's, yeah, just clear, just regular water from a, from a purified uh, water faucet. Here is a soft rag to use for applying this. So, um... I guess I'll just use this for kind of cleaning cleaning that off. And yeah, I'm going to have to scrape that off there. I'll probably do like some sort of cut or time lapse or something. Um, okay, so warm soapy water and drying thoroughly. I'm not going to do much because obviously I don't want to damage the electronics. I have some paper towels also that I can use for, uh, uh, for drying. Uh, they said use a... Um, uh, it says dip cotton ball or soft cloth. They said a, what's the word? Man, I always blank out when I'm trying to think of this. Um, microfiber cloth. I don't know if this is actually microfiber cloth. It, it's probably not, but it is soft. It is soft and, and I don't think it's actually been used. Um, I don't have any microfiber and I'm maybe just too eager to get this done. Hopefully that won't ruin anything. Um, okay. So, uh, put some Tarnex on it and wipe on tarnished areas. Rinse thoroughly under cold water and wipe dry. Now, I'm not going to um, obviously run this under cold water, which is why I have that. So, I will just wipe and wipe and wipe and make sure that it gets on there. So, it gives the idea that you don't want it to stay on there because, look, it says, do not soak in any object in Tarnex for over two minutes, okay? So, um... I guess we're just going to get it on and get it right off because it seems to be pretty powerful stuff, okay? Always use full strength, okay? So um, that's that's how we're going to use. That's, wh that's what we're going to do here. Okay, so let us... Uh, I'll just set you guys over here. 
and uh, whoop, my thing will sit still. My tripod here. Oh come on. Hopefully you guys will sit still. Okay. All right. So first. some of this stuff off of here. All right, so warm soapy water. that part. Make sure you guys can still see me okay. Alrighty. Just get my other paper towels here ready. Do that. Okay. Let's open this up. I've not opened this yet, so there's probably a seal underneath here, which there is. Try to puncture through that seal a little bit there. this in a well-ventilated area. Now. Oh, gloves. Let's protect skin. Can be safe here. Who's excited for Solo? It's coming out this week. This is the week before that this video is being created here, so I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be fine. Harrison Ford said that he liked it, so that's all right with me. Whew. Okay, just so you guys know, I am really nervous. Okay, like I said, let's just start with the corner. Just get a little bit on. And I think I can see it working immediately. It is working immediately. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Get it on. And get it off. on and get it off. Wow, that is amazing how quickly that works. Look at that. You see that? That? Oh, come on, focus. Look at that. That is gorgeous. 
that is absolutely gorgeous. It took only that little dab. Only that little dab is all it took. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. And I only put it on just this little corner. Okay. This might actually be a successful how-to video. Now, I am just going to put the slightest... Well, I don't know. Maybe I don't need to. Maybe I don't need to. Okay. Let's do the other side. Okay. It's working, but I don't I just don't have a whole lot on there. Let me just get the t gotta work quick. Gotta work quick. Okay, there's a little bit more on there. Okay. Working quickly. Oh man. It's like an eraser. It's like an eraser on a marker board. That's how quick this thing is. And I am trying to be careful not to get it onto the aluminum. I just gotta get it down into that spot there where those switches are, that hard to reach area. Just kind of pushing it in there a little bit. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. Now, wipe this off carefully. I really hope I don't mess up the electronics with this. I cannot believe how beautiful that looks. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous pink copper. It's beautiful. Just, okay. Okay, set that on there. Soak up the water. That is absolutely gorgeous. Vader's Vault, you guys know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You see that? That is absolutely gorgeous. That's okay. And I'm not getting it as super neat pretty as I can. I just want it to be okay. I just want it to be okay. All right. I don't mind. This, this time around, I'm going to just leave it kind of as it is as far as natural tarnishing. I'm not going to worry about it any anymore. If it gets too much, okay, now I'm going to work on the faceplate here, okay? <sighs> Look at that. Just that one little spot. You see that? Look at that. That is amazing. I'm just trying to work it in just so I can kind of get into all the different parts of it. But again, I'm tr trying to work quickly because don't leave it on for more than two minutes, it said. And it did say wash thoroughly under water. And I'm not going to run this thing under a faucet, like I said. So I'm just trying to get it pretty good and then get it rinsed off here gently rinsed off gently rinsed off i should have put a little bit more water on here so i could rinse this off better in case of any parts per millions or something like that but since i'm using such a small amount it should probably be okay Probably should be okay. Oops, I missed the one little corner there. Get the little part up here. Just to quickly try to get that. That's better. Just a little bit down there. Okay. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Of the towel that hasn't touched the tarnix yet. Okay, Dry those off. Okay, all right. So the control box seems to be looking all right. Seems to be okay. Just trying to do it real quick like. Looks like the aluminum on there is alright, so hopefully I'm being careful enough here. Okay. Now, 
Here comes the really tricky part, the neck. I'm just going to put a little bit more on here because I don't want to have to take time to, in actually working it in. Here we go. That's pretty soaked in there. Whew. Okay, guys. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. Immediate, immediate effect. Look at that. It just wipes off. It just wipes off like marker from a board. It has an interesting aroma to it. It says using a well-ventilated area. This is outside, we're in a garage. It's kind of breezy outside. Okay, work quickly, work quickly, work quickly. Try to get into those corners here. Trying to do it so you guys can still see it. I know it's going fuzzy on you, I'm sorry. Okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Take it off. It's not absolutely perfect. I didn't get way, way down there at the bottom because I was trying to go quickly. Maybe I'll try it again later after I see just how this goes. But it seems to be okay. I'm gonna put some more water on it. I really wanna make sure that I've rinsed this off thoroughly here. Okay, well, what do you guys think? Except for just that little bit down here that I just didn't reach. Maybe I'll just kind of leave that down there just so I kind of have a comparison. Just to see, I don't know. Maybe that sounds kind of dumb, but oh well. Okay. It certainly looks a lot better than it did. It certainly looks a lot better than it did. Thank you, Vader's Vault. Yeah, I know. You can see into that little corner there. Come on, zoom in, will you? Just stop it. I know you can see into those corners a little bit. I'm not too worried about that right now. I just want to see how this looks and how this holds up after a while. Okay, Because it's not as neat and bright shiny as I remember it from the unboxing video. But it's okay. This is far better than nothing. I think that's just a little bit of salt stuff that's still down there. Okay. All right. Now, just because, oh man, I need to use the other tripod if I can find it. All right. Now, let's just for kicks make sure that I didn't blow the electronics because if I did, again, you're all my witnesses. Okay. Lights are on, my little buggy sound went, and yes, we're still good. We are still good to go. Yes. All right, well, I would call this a successful project, I think. I think I would call that a successful venture. So what we did 
was we used the Tarnex. Oh, I better put the cap on that before I start brandishing it. We used the Tarnex to remove the surface tarnish that had built up on the copper. Okay. Uh, yeah, local supermarket. It's with your cleaning supplies. Um, so, you know, it's probably not far from like the laundry detergent and like the Lysol and the, or the Pine Sol or whatever Sol you want to use. Um, so that's where I found it. Just a little bit. I only put just that little dab of it. Come on, will you focus? Ugh, can't do this one handed. I only did just the little tiny bit of it. I did not want to overdo it. I've gotten in trouble with other projects before of overdoing it with the cleaner. Um, and that's all I did was just that little bit. Okay. And it still looks okay even after a couple minutes of having gotten it on and off. And that's all I did was on and off. Okay. Now, if you have something that doesn't use natural copper, then you probably don't have to worry about this too much. But Vader's Vault is all about having the best experience um, possible, which is with the highest grade materials. They are, I would call them artisanal sabersmiths because they go all out for kind of a, maybe luxury brand you could call it. Just an all out, I mean, check out their star, t their star killer. They made a, a new uh, star killer which looks absolutely crazy and it's very very expensive it use it's it looks really really gorgeous if i had a lot of free money to blow i might consider getting it but um it's very very gorgeous you guys should check that out okay so that's what happens there i would call this successful i would call this successful i'd like to do another video of uh just some of my little combat velocities i think they've been called in some old Star Wars material. Just some basic little moves of, of some swipes and some blocks and just things like that. Nothing too flashy, but I thought maybe that would just be a fun idea. Um, I'd like to do it at some point when um, when I can have some decent light and some decent room. I don't want to do it indoors anywhere because my ceiling downstairs has suffered a couple holes in the ceiling from uh, my shenanigans. So that's something that I'd like to do in the future. I don't know when, but we'll find out at some point. So that's what I've got for tonight. So may the force be with you.